Hello, I am Michael Cusimano, and I'm the Managing Director of the Cusimano Real Estate Group. We are a longtime real estate uh, development and investment company, and I'm a longtime member of the Woodbury School of Business Advisory Board. Dr. Marquez asked a number of the Woodbury Advisory Board to share business experiences with students uh, and suggested the theme of making lemonade as the topic. And of course, this theme represents the adage of, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, uh, which of course is a reference to the concept of uh, when you end up with uh, a difficult or unexpected or adverse uh, situation, uh, the lemons, turn that adverse situation into a positive one, the lemonade. Uh, and in business, you will find yourself uh, constantly in difficult or unexpected or adverse situations. Um, that is very much the way of business, uh, especially now in the 21st century. And how you deal with these difficult or unexpected situations will likely reflect on how successful you will be in your business career and how well regarded you will be within your organization and your industry. And turning lemons into lemonade in business and in life can be difficult and stressful, but it brings out the best in us as leaders. And if we look for opportunities to do this effectively, we will stand out from our colleagues as people who get things done. So let me start with a quick story from history about a renowned leader who was famous for turning lemons into lemonade. Marine Corps General Louis Puller uh, was leading a large contingent of Marines in a desperate battle in the 1950s when he found uh, his command surrounded and outnumbered by the enemy. That is a big lemon. But rather than panic or surrender, uh, he focused his men in a historic battle. Uh, and his quote to his men that day was, uh, all right, they're on our left, they're on our right, they're in front of us, and they're behind us. They can't get away this time. So General Puller looked at being surrounded as an advantage rather than a crisis. And he was able to take advantage of some of the positive aspects of this situation, such as shorter communication lines and the concentration of force, and led his men from a near certain annihilation to a victory. And not surprisingly, General Puller ended up as one of the most decorated uh, military leaders in history. That is turning lemons into lemonade. Uh, the lemons that you will likely have to deal with. Uh, are not so dire as that. Uh, but at the same time, they can seem overwhelming. And I can tell you that when I've been faced with adversity, it can seem overwhelming. Um, but if you keep the issues in perspective and you focus on your strategic objectives, uh, you can turn lemons into lemonade in most situations. So for an example of a business situation where we were able to turn lemons uh, into lemonade, uh, a number of years ago, a large uh, international investment firm approached us uh, with the prospect of jointly developing a large real estate project. Uh, and this was gonna be a project with a cost into the hundreds of millions of dollars. And it was a project that was very exciting um, and it was at a site that was comprised of 27 separate parcels of land that had to be consolidated uh, into one final site uh, from a number of different property owners. 
And so we were able to acquire much of the site, but we were not able to acquire a, uh, a key component of the site that was right uh, in the center of this, of this site, um, which is shown here in yellow. So we tried and we tried to acquire the segment uh, of this development site, uh, but we were just not able to. So after trying to make this work, uh, at one point, as the economic, cli as the e economic climate worsened, uh, our partner decided uh, that they were not able to proceed and suggested that the parcels that have been acquired uh, just be sold off and the project abandoned. So this would be the limit. But at this point, uh, in spite of the worsening economic climate, uh, we had become very excited about this site uh, and the project that we thought that we could build there. So we agreed to buy out the interests of our partner uh, and decided that we would go forward alone and try and consolidate the entire site and, and build the project. So we knew that the only way that we could get this holdout property owner to relocate was to find them a better property. Uh, but this endeavor was further complicated by the fact that the holdout property owner was a church. And it's very hard to find an adequate replacement for a church uh, that's in the same neighborhood. So uh, more lemons. Uh, and then one day, out of the blue, I received a phone call from a broker that I knew that was pitching a property for sale. Uh, and he said that the property that he had was a commercial property that could be repurposed for office use. Um, I wasn't interested in office use uh, at that particular point in this weakening economy. And so just as I was about to hang up, uh, I asked him what type of property this, this particular site was right now. And he said, well, it's a church. And so I went and looked at the property uh, it turns out that this particular property that just became available was a perfect fit for our holdout property owner. So we bought this new church for, for them, uh, moved them out of the project site, consolidated the entire four acre project site, and ended up building what is the largest uh, building by square footage in the city of Burbank. Uh, where this project won the uh, Pacific Builders Council Gold Nugget Grand Award um, as the best mixed-use project in the company in the country, and that is turning lemons into lemonade.